Yeah, yeah. So I guess those skills, of course, are, are very, very important. Uh, other things I would say is if you get a chance to work on a collaborative project with, with industry, I think that'll give you a lot of exposure. I mentioned the internship, which really helped me a lot. Uh, I think getting involved with that uh, as much as you can would help a lot. Some sort of project management experience, and that I would say that doesn't necessarily have to be academic. Mm -hmm. I would think just bringing things together and, and really making a project work. I mean, it could be as simple as working on an event that you were organizing, right? And and just just working on something where you have a number of different stakeholders, and then you have to get work done by multiple people to achieve a final goal. I think that's uh, would also be uh, I would say a skill that that could help students quite a lot. I I don't know if you were also asking about scientific skills or are you just talking about uh, additional skills? No, I, I, scientific skills as well. I mean, for example, you at Mythic, um, you know, when you're trying to recruit someone, are you looking for the know-how that they know X, Y, and Z, or are you looking more for the kind of proactive? ability to learn and, and adapt and, and change? Yeah, I would say both. I think curiosity and the ability to learn and grow is really, really important because especially at a small company, things will change a lot. Uh, you know, my job is very different today than what it was three years ago. And, and, you know, things keep changing all the time and you have to learn to adapt with the change. Um, we do look for scientific skill sets. I mean, I'm an antibody engineer, so I'm, of course, looking for people that have worked with the antibodies before or engineered uh, proteins before and worked with display techniques and, and looking at characterization of antibodies, um, you know, whether it's biophysical, like thermal stability and affinity, or, or, you know, even looking at other properties of antibodies, high solubility and um, developability, things like that. So maybe being aware of the literature more around uh, translation in, in antibodies would be helpful. Certainly any company that, that you're potentially interviewing with, learn about what they do and the work that they have done and they've published. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people uh, don't do any homework on that. Uh, you know, I think that could be, could be very powerful, right? I mean, because that could generate a lot of questions and shows that you were interested uh, in the work that the company does and you actually sp spent the time to look it up. Um, I mean, I'm telling you just, just general things. I mean, scientific uh, toolbox and scientific skills, I think a lot of people are very good at, uh, but, but really developing some of these soft skills and being curious, being ready to learn and, and you know, just, trying to know more and, and show that you are interested would yeah. help a lot. Because uh, some people, they are interested, but it doesn't come across because <laughs> they are interested. <laughs>